and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next gauntlet deck. I'm calling this one Death's Door because in the expedition draft mode of Runeterra, if you play uh, PNZ and Shadow Isles together, uh, that's the archetype is Death's Door, and that's what I'm naming these gauntlet singleton decks after because it's you know it's hard to like with singleton it's really hard to name these decks you, you know like what are we gonna name it like Callista Heimerdinger Thresh Vi Hecarim. Uh, whatever my other champion is, um, Hecarim Elise. You know, like, so you can't really name them after the champions. They're all just kind of mid-rangey decks because you're just playing Singleton. Um, but, uh, so that's that's how I got the name. But anyway, this uh, this format's a lot of fun. I really like playing these Singleton uh, decks. I think it's it's just really fun. All your games are different. Every You know, every opponent's deck is different. Your deck's all different every single game. Um, and it, it's just pretty fun. And, you know, we just we did great with Shields Wall just a little bit ago. That's that's the thing about these. There's going to be a lot of variants. Um, you're not always going to do well. Uh, you know, it's... Yeah, because, like, your deck isn't always going to perform as, as well as you want because there's just so much variance of just having one of every single card. You're not going to always curve out. But you just go have fun with it. And, uh, yeah, that, that's... that's uh, That's what we're going to do. We're going to just go have fun with it. All right, so we're going to play Singleton Gauntlet. Uh, we're going to enter with Death's Door. Select. Okay, here we go. We're going to play. Uh, we'll play until we win seven or lose two, whatever happens first. And you can see this really cool icon. This is the icon you get if you do get seven wins. You get this icon. That's awesome. If you just play it, you, there's also a, another pretty cool icon if you just play it. Um, and then if you can get to seven wins, you get that icon right there. And we just got it with Shield Shield's Wall. Demacia Ionia. Wait, that's the deck that we just played. <laughs> I wonder if my opponent's playing my list. I mean, maybe it's somebody here in chat. That'd be cool. I'd be I'd be down with that. I should probably be alright, we'll mulligan eminent ben benefactor. I was gonna say I should probably be mulliganing eminent ben benefactor, but it looked like an enticing card to play. Awesome, Johnny getting that gifted sub. Very nice. All right, so I could use Thermogenic Beam to kill that to clear away for Kempunk Pickpocket. This seems like a perfect time for Sapling Toss. And now Sapling Toss, because you know Thermogenic Beam, we can use that for better removal. And now we can Sapling Toss can challenge this, free up our spot for Kempunk Pickpocket. Sapling Toss is underrated. Alright, use our Vile Feast. Not bad, trade Vile Feast for a 5 mana spell. And get a 1 1. So, yeah, that was a really good Vile Feast draw, that's for sure. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Uh. I'm gonna go with Gotcha. I don't want a one mana trick, you know, tough, you know, like tough cards, Radiant Strike, that kind of stuff. I don't want to cast Mystic Shot. They play that, they keep it alive, and then attack with Zed. I just don't want that to happen. Maybe I'm supposed to just play Vi first. We just trade with Garen with Vi. Okay, so it's not my exact list. Because there's a redouble Valor in their deck. I'm not playing that card. Uh, it could be that they didn't have one of the cards that I had. And play that instead. That could be a thing. Should we redouble Valor of Vi? Make Vi 20 power? Sharing is caring. <laughs> he always thought there was a Freljord card because the art is blue. 
I could see that. I could I could definitely see that. Check out the goods on this one. Jack pocket. The dark beckons. Not bad. Here comes the punchline. Two worlds, one battle. I can do this. Not a boy. I basically just don't, like, the reason why I didn't play Vi like these times, like, I don't really want to play Vi and then they play whatever 5 mana 5-5 five, five or anything, and then I have to trade Vi for it. Trade Vi with it. I mean... It is not yet their time. Um, if they have deny, I can't. I can't stop deny. I can't play around deny. There's no nothing I can do. All right, GGS. We didn't get to redouble valor by. That would have been really cool. Getting twenty, a twenty-eight by. Oh, play P and Z units. Okay, we can do that. Hear the cheers of the crowd. We're eight zero on the day now. I wonder if this is the deck I played yesterday. No, turn to mirror. Turn to mirror is different. Okay, uh, Ruination could actually be good. Um, I don't know if I should keep it, though. But it could be like a... Like, it's, it's something that could be good on turn 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so I don't know if that means I'm supposed to keep it in my hand, but something that could just be devastating. Like, it could be a, a game-winning card. No, Omenhawk. No, not Omenhawk. Meow, 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 meow. Alright, so if I Vile Feast Omen Hawk. Alright, we're gonna do that. And. We'll go Sapling Toss. And then this next turn, turn three, I'm probably not playing anything. Um, and so that can be my three spell mana that I can bank to have turn six Ruination available. Get him, Sapling Toss. Man, Sapling Toss is cool. That's an underrated card. That's two games in a row where it's looked really good. Uh, uh. Catastrophe was my 41st card. That was my last cut. I mean, I, I wanted to, to play Catastrophe, of course, you know, for the, you know, because it's a fun card, but no, I, st I wouldn't say it's really, like, that playable still in this format. It's, I mean, we're talking, like, you have to play 20 cards with different names. Like, it's, it's something that's not going to happen until, like, the very, very late game. I mean, it's already hard enough to cast 10. It's so hard to cast 20 different cards. That's so hard. It's a challenge because whatever I play, they take with Trifarian Glory Seeker. So I guess we want Eminent Benefactor to die more than anything else. Stand together. Face me. Overgrown Snap Vine. Oh, jeez. I don't even know that's going to be good. I don't even know. Overgrown snap vine. Okay, we're just creating epics. It's probably a good place to be if you're just creating epics. Great. Uh, yes, I. Uh, 
Yes, but he... Yes, Kempunk Pickpocket does not... Okay. So, yes, Kempunk Pickpocket does not steal spells, but it creates spells that are in the opponent's deck. So whenever Kempunk Pickpocket created Redoubled Valor, that means that they have a Redoubled Valor in their deck. And so therefore it was not the same deck as I was playing. It doesn't just create random spells from their regions. It creates spells specifically that are in their deck. Um, but yeah, it's so like uh, whenever we took or like whenever Kempunk Pickpocket created um, Will of Ionia, for example, that means that they would we didn't just steal their Will of Ionia, they would still have a Will of Ionia in their deck and could still use that to bounce something. So I'd still need to play around the card. I got ways to find in mushrooms. This is gonna hurt. You're mine. Go time! I'll cut them apart. Face me. Dang, this is gonna hurt. Stay out of my way. I give you the outfit, Spectre Sonia. Remember me. I'll just cast a mushroom cloud. Hope they play something else big. These old eyes no, Avaros and Sentry, that's not big, but. Oh well. Still gonna reset with Ruination. Wasn't, you know, ideal. Ideally, they'd play. Something that costs a lot more. All right, they got some sinister poros. That's not too bad. I think we'll take that each time. All right, so that's just whenever it targeted and survive. Darn, so I can't, I can't target it with Chronicler of Ruin. Uh oh, this is bad. That's bad news. So yeah, this is probably us dying. That was uh, a lot of damage with the ash into uh, into Cat of the Arm. I couldn't stabilize. one challenger was incredible to go, go along with the ash and the caddo all right gotta win this next one I just gotta mulligan all those cards. I like them. We just gotta find. There we go. Find some cheaper interaction. That'll do. This is gonna be a real aggressive deck, so I'm willing to go thermogenic beam here. <clears throat> we can have sapling toss. Uh, still take out something else. Alright, so with, with that, I'll go Rookie that gets the block here. Uh, 
Boom Karuki probably shouldn't be in my deck. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, like it. That's a card. I kind of just added it in and didn't really think about it. That's a card that shouldn't be in my deck. Make the Empire proud. I'm not sneaky. I'm dynamic. And I'm dynamite. <laughs> Good draw. I've got it. Now I do. I didn't like any any attack that I had. Um, I don't want to trade Kempunk Pickpocket. That's a lot better block. Better run. Oh well. We're trading two for three. Oh, that's okay. Oh no, no, yeah, th their thing doesn't die, so just two for two. That's alright. Remembrance. Dang. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Even better. There's the one, two punch. Okay, so we'll have this go down to one health, and then I can sapling toss and finish that off. Devastating. And with Vi, Vi was going to die, but we we're going to have Rekindler bring it back. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, we're never, we're just never going to get to 20. Like, this, this card's not necessary. this do it's not bad not bad Save gotcha. Yeah, we'll save gotcha. Yeah, Sumpworks map isn't really doing anything. This pursuit of perfection isn't really doing anything. Harrowing's like a you know, try to be like a one turn kill, but they're at twenty. <laughs> That's not really doing anything. So basically our hand isn't really doing anything. Uh that's terrible for me. Absolutely terrible. So I can cast I can cast Gotcha, but that's only gonna do four damage. That's not even gonna kill a Radiant Guardian. Um like if I gotcha the Radiant Guardian. But I suppose I do that. At least put Radiant Guardian down to one health. Man, that whirling death. Alright, 
I want to draw Chronicler of Ruin. I need to do this to stay alive. Not ideal. But I kind of need to do it to try to help stay alive. Burn away the shadows. Yeah, we could have got you the bird instead of got you the radiant guardian. I just didn't. With and then think, okay, well now we can block the raiding guard with the four four. I just didn't think that that would be reliable. You know, I, yeah, like it's. If all things work out and th and they have no spells whatsoever, then then we could have done that. But I just don't think that that's a that that would have been a, a reliable course of action. Hmm. Okay. Oh, might. Okay, well, I should have blocked with five because it might ended up not mattering. Man, that's a worthless epic. Also, are we? These epics are worthless. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that and that. <laughs> well, okay. I guess I'm dying would have been worthless now. I guess I should. I, I should just discard Sumpworks map. We don't need that card. I should discard that instead of the undying. Uh Yeah. I got ways to find in mushrooms. They were bullied for Noxus. Mine is the hand of Noxus. General Darius. All right, we have to draw like you know, like vengeance, something to take take out this Darius. Vengeance would be good. So, it, is it ephemeral anymore? I don't, I don't think it's ephemeral anymore. Get to keep a two one. That's cool. All right, come on, vengeance. Vengeance. Nope. Still heart, steady aim. Carva pass. Excuse you. They are super careful with their attacks. They are super careful with their attacks. I guess I'm drawing champions, I shouldn't complain. Yeah, we can have elusive Hecarim. Hecarim's only at two out of seven. Leveling up. I suppose so. So this this Quinn's about to level up. Didn't block at all. Why you this? They should. All right. So they should absolutely block with a Mage Seeker Conservator and get a six plus cost spell. Like that seems amazing to get a six plus cost spell. Please play something. Please play something. Please play something. Yay!
Keeps Quinn from leveling up, that was about to. I'm still probably dead. Wait, what? They didn't attack? What? Do I concede or do I keep playing? Back alley barkeep, can you make a worse card? Okay, there we go. That's why they should have blocked the 1-1 one, one previously. The one, one, it's like their 1-1 one, one creates harrowing. <laughs> All of my random cards have been worthless and we've just discarded them and stuff. Uh, but that's, that's why Singleton's fun. Just have some fun with this format. You're gonna have, you're gonna have the, that randomness. It's not about, this is not what you play if you want to like outplay your opponent and win because you outplay your opponent. You know, this is play some crazy stuff and have fun. All right, so that's our that's our uh, next Singleton Gauntlet deck, one and two there with Death's Door. Um, you know, trying to try to just uh, play a whole bunch of like value creatures. Basically, that's that's what we're trying to do. The Chronicler of Ruin with this stuff. I have to say, out of here, the with the list, uh, the Boom Crew rookie shouldn't be in there. Um, probably want something. Uh, like, do I have? Okay, so yeah, I was missing. Okay, I don't have Grasp the Undying or Withering Whale in here. I kind of realized that. Also, I should have those two cards in the deck. So Grass Withering Whale can come on in here, take out, um, take out Boom Crew Rookie, and then take out probably Curse Keeper. We're not we're really not a Curse Keeper deck. Yeah, that, that's that's better. Okay, so that's that's a couple of small changes that um, should have had. I I just kind of I kind of missed Withering Whale and Grass of the Undying for some reason. Just kind of assume those are always in the deck, but whenever we were playing, I kind of realized, wait, wait a minute, those cards are not in my deck. <laughs> so there we go. So uh, I'd recommend that. I'm gonna I'm gonna update the deckless command with putting those two in um, instead. Those those would have been uh, definitely would have been beneficial to have access to with the life gain against those um, Noxus aggro decks that we're playing against. All right, so that was fun. We'll be playing one other uh, Gauntlet deck later with the Raiding Party. That's going to be Bilgewater um, and Freljord. That's going to be it later on. And, but first, we're going to play a donation deck, Championless Undying. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you've been having success with with the Gauntlet, how you've been liking it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching Death's Door, and I'll see you for the next video.